morning YouTube yeah yeah it was a pretty good morning already this morning I uh, got uh, Phil and Connie uh, sent on their way they just drove out of here with the motor home and the little mini Cooper and they're heading down to Yuma gonna leave me alone up here in my little world there for the winter and uh, now I'm deciding what I'm gonna do but I think I'm gonna start at the a uh, little cub there behind me. I'm just going to do a little investigation. See what's going on there with it. So we'll just open her up. Okay, that uh, hood came off uh, with the gas tank all in one and uh, yeah come off fairly easy but uh, there was you know four or five six whatever it was uh, sheet metal screws like small screws and let me tell you this uh, impact driver here is very valuable today man it sure uh, knocks the rest of them I only had one that twisted off little screws and then this carburetor, uh, you can't really see it. It's uh, right full of rust and gunk and seized up. So that's going to be a little bit of a kitchen table project. But anyway, moving ahead, uh, we're going to take the head off. Oh, and I see right away, right away, it's been heaved open. She's got a cracked. Uh, head right here well and that's too bad to, I don't know if we can repair that or get a different one but uh, we'll just see what we have to do there now I forget we had uh, yeah we that's why we uh, we uh, poured uh, diesel fuel in through this exhaust pipe and it actually went inside there so this is all pretty uh, screwed up and end up diesel fuel coming out the radiator probably through the bottom end red rad, radiator hose i don't know where that is maybe is it on this side it's got to be a bottom bottom hose oh yeah right here goes through and through this here casting up in odd but uh, that's the way that is so right away we've discovered our problem i'm going to strip away some stuff and pull that head off just take a good look okay i got uh, all the head bolts loosened up i think i got uh, one two three four five at least down there they twisted off so I got some broken studs in the block. That's just great. They're pretty small head bolts. It wouldn't take too much. They just uh, they just twist it off. So anyway, the spark plugs are out and they're all uh, pretty much hooped. They're all rusted. So we're uh, pretty much ready to uh, lift this head off. See what happens. There we have it. A lot of uh, rust. Things are in bad shape. 
That still doesn't uh, answer why the uh, fuel is going into the water jacket. The gasket seems to be fine. Well, we got some warp valves, or by the look of it. Anyway, I'm going to get the air gun here. We'll blow this mess off and uh, just see exactly what we got going on in there. Well, she looks like a pretty bad engine. Probably, you know, the only hope for this is to uh, get a replacement engine somewhere. Cause these, uh, these have been rusted and sitting in uh, bad positions out for 50 years probably. And they're just really, the cylinder looks really bad. But you never know, sometimes when you get this stuff right apart and cleaned up, it's cleans up pretty good but it's a disaster looking just looking at number three this would be the reason why we're getting diesel fuel right into the through the radiator this here uh, cylinder has been frozen and pushed out so well look at the block is uh, toast so we need a complete uh, engine from somewhere to make this run head and block well that didn't take too long to uh, do a little investigation on that little cub kind of wishing i never started the investigation because i'd still be thinking that you know can have this thing running by spring and uh, and cutting some of the weeds down here but that tractor will never run in its uh, uh, condition it's at with that engine the uh, the one cylinder bore is just froze, broke open. There, no use trying to repair that. Heads broke open. That's maybe repairable, but it's better off just to see if I can hunt up uh, a parts tractor, I guess. Or just another uh, tractor, and this will be the parts tractor. is probably the better way to go. Uh, yeah. Yeah buy a whole tractor cheaper than you can parts so anyway that's a wrap for this video uh glad you're uh sticking around and following along and uh like and subscribe if you so desire uh yeah let's keep this thing going bye for now